Installation of an escape slide raft pack assembly. Make sure that the operation striker lever of the door damper and emergency operation cylinder are in the disarmed position. Make sure that the passenger crew door on which you will install the pack assembly is closed and locked. Make sure that the emergency control handle is in the disarmed position and that the safety pin is installed. Make sure that the lock pin assembly is installed in the operating head of the slide raft inflation reservoir. Check the pack electrical supply cable and make sure that the cable is installed for the left door or the right door as required. Make sure that the short girt flap is on the top of the long girt flap. Attach a temporary tie to the small cord loop. Put the girt bar in place. Make sure that the girt bar end fittings point away from the slide raft pack and that the telescopic end is in the forward position in relation to the aircraft. Install the mooring line loop on the girt bar rear end. Pull the cord loops attached to the long girt flap up through the grommets in the short girt flap. Put the loops through each other from each end of the girt towards the center. Put the parachute pin through the small cord loop and remove and discard the temporary tie. Safety the parachute pin in position with nylon thread with a braking strain. Put the girt bar release strap through the girt bar release lever and position the release strap along the slide raft girt. Attach the survival kit lanyard to the release strap with the same color Velcros and position the lanyard along the slide raft girt. Fold the long girt flap over the girt bar and attach it to the short girt flap velcro attached strips. Lift the slide raft pack assembly onto the passenger crew door supports. Carefully move the packboard assembly inboard 
at an angle onto its supports and hold it. Connect the pack assembly connector to the electrical connector on the passenger crew door. Move the pack assembly in position and install the stud assemblies in the door attach anchor nuts. Carefully tighten the two stud assemblies with the Allen key until there is no play between the door and packboard assembly. Connect the two pull handles to the stud assemblies with the attach links. Remove the safety pin from the emergency control handle and set the handle to the armed position. Hold the passenger crew door to prevent it moving outboard and set the door control handle to the open position. Install the girt bar into the floor attach fittings. Slowly move the door control handle to the closed position and move the emergency control handle to the disarmed position. Set the door control handle to the open position. Make sure that the control shaft levers and the telescopic forks on the door have engaged correctly with the girt bar. Set the door control handle to the closed position and set the emergency control handle to the armed position. Hold the passenger crew door to prevent it moving outboard and set the door control handle to the open position. Make sure that the girt bar has engaged correctly with the floor attach fittings. Set the door control handle to the closed position. Set the emergency control handle to the disarmed position and install the safety pin. Remove the lock pin assembly from the operating head of the slide raft inflation reservoir and put the lock pin assembly in the stowage pocket installed on the pack assembly soft cover. Put the pack assembly decorative cover in position. Connect the cover attached straps. Check the indication of the decorative cover brackets and girt bar visual indicator. Make sure that the operation striker lever of the door damper and emergency operation cylinder is in the armed position.